2019, a family man. And think of the transformation. He came from where he, you know, his first job was making, I think it's like 11 bucks an hour, 10 bucks an hour, and now he's in the seven figures. I mean, you just think of how things transform from 10 bucks an hour to that, starting in 2019, and he's fastly growing across North America. So you're gonna hear from him here shortly. Our second speaker is Martin Glende. And uh, hey, check this out, you gotta check this out. 14 years in the business, 7,500 licensed agents. You think of just the impact that that field force has in communities and 7,500 licenses, scratching at five million dollars a year in annual income. I just got a chance to get his spouse backstage. He's been married for 23 years, have three kids, and he just wanted to share a tip. I'd ask all these guys for a tip. He just says, if you follow money, it runs away. If you do some good, it follows you. So please help me welcome on your feet, you guys, our first speaker, Emmanuel Tijan. She's a brain behind the operations. Without her, I'm incomplete. And also, my incredible team all over the place. I love you, I appreciate you guys. All right. I remember in 2019, my first convention, I was at the MGM Grand. And when I came to that convention, just had, my, just had a C minus in my license because I failed my exams a couple times. You don't even know how many times I failed. It's crazy. So, when I walked to that convention, the speaker went on stage and said, how many of you have been raised by a single mom? And how does it feel for a single mom to raise four kids, but yet four kids can take care of a single son, a single mother? I was intrigued. When I came back, I told myself I need to put some effort in this opportunity called WFG. This theme of the convention is called Winners One. I want to talk about a certain phrase or maybe seven people that I'm going to take from the Holy Bible. The first is called Esau, the one is called Jacob. Now most of you know about the story, but the information I want to pass across is very important. When I look at the lifestyle of the guy that was called Jacob, I consider him to be a guy that was like an opportunist. And so most people in a community that we find ourselves, some people come from an opportunity, what is it, opportunity uh, family. And then some are from like a principled family. When I say principled, I mean someone like Esa was from a principled generation. It means life was very tough. So much so that the father told the son, and said, if you want to be successful, you gotta struggle hard to break the yoke off your neck. This happened to me because I realized my life was like Esa. I need to work hard, I need to press forward. Bunch of overtime, $10 an hour, no way forward. My family is in Cameroon. I couldn't bring them to another state. Life was tough. And when I became restless, then came Daniel Fumbo with the opportunity of wealth financial group. I want to let you know you can't win if you are, you are feeling you're doing good. When you find yourself in a situation where life becomes so difficult, you're being pressed by certain things you can't achieve. Your kids can't go to the schools you desire for them to go. Life becomes so difficult. You can't pay that mortgage. You can't see yourself moving forward. When you become restless, you break that yoke off your neck like SRB. Now, if you watch soccer, I'm a soccer fan. I want to pull an analogy of a soccer team in Europe. This soccer team is called Bayern Leverkusen. 
Bayern Leverkusen is a soccer team that for 120 years in existence never won the Bundesliga title. Coaches will come and go, they will never go even at the bearing of winning the title. And then came a young man, a young coach, picked the same group of players who couldn't perform with different coaches for years after years. And guess what? This team last year won the Bundesliga title. Not just win the titles, won two titles. Talking the head, they didn't do for 120 years. The same team you have right now, you're minimizing them. You're looking at it as they're not being the best performers. I'll tell you this. Believe in them, you're going to see them win. The same group of people that you look at them and say, you know what? Nothing good can come from this training associate. Nothing good can come from this MD. Nothing good can come from this SMD. I just want to let you know, just pour some belief in them. You're going to see the champion in them. Now, there is a woman, it's an author. Her name is Helen Keller. Helen Anna Keller wrote a book, Grace is a Faithfulness. She wrote over 1,000 books. And when they asked Miss Helen, what do you think is the most difficult thing? Because she's a blind, I'm talking about a blind old woman writing over 1,000 books. Helen said, the most difficult thing in life is to be able to see with that vision. Having eyes, they don't have a vision. Think about a blind woman who wrote over 1,000 books. They've been interviewed. She said, The most difficult thing in life is not because I'm blind. The most difficult thing is when you have eyes that you can see. I want to let you know that vision is important. If you don't have vision, vision is very important. When Helen says, Having eyes, we have no vision. Most of us are here, we have the, vi we have the eyes. The blame thing is a vision, but what are you doing with it? This is a great opportunity. I beseech you, when you come in here to this great industry, trust me, when you believe in heart of success, write the vision and make it plain. When you write the vision, you make it plain, you speak on it, and trust me, you're going to be a winner. I remember talking to my supervisor, Ali, at Chipotle. I said, Ali, I need extra hours. I just fight for my family to come to the United States. Life is difficult, Ali. Ali said, Emmanuel, I'm so sorry. This is summertime. Chipotle has not offered time to give to employees. I'm so sorry. But here am I in an opportunity of abundance. Much over time, sometimes I ask myself, God, can you increase 24 hours? Why? Because the opportunity here is enormous. I want to just leave you with this. I won't leave this convention. Trust me, to be a champion, you must be at the right place at the right time. And that's exactly what this industry here gives us. Live here with a vision because you have been put in your family for a purpose. When that purpose is not known, abuse becomes inevitable. God has put you there for a purpose. God gave you that thing for a purpose. And trust me, it's not about an individual work, it's a team work. Poor belief in the team. Poor in yourself, to believe in believing that WMG will change your life, will change your family, will change your community, and we are here to change a generation. Go back and win as one. It's all individual thing. Win as one.